Sunday morning, Sunday morning, coffee and minis on my Sunday morning. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Crafter's Forge, and today I'm going to show you how I paint the Others board game, Gluttony. And I'm going to show you some cool techniques on your flesh tone to get some nasty looking bruising. Um, I'm also thinking about doing a series of painting board games miniatures from their factions and just board games in general. Um, just to get them so they don't look like... That right there, like look, look at that, uh, gray. You don't want that on your table. You want some color to it. You want that shit to pop. So, stick around and I'll show you more. All right, here's medium flesh, some deep purple. This is gonna be my base coat colors for my flesh tone, because he's an undead guy. This is some flow improver, pre-lubricate. Some medium flesh, a couple of drops. Is that deep purple? I'm gonna add one drop to it. Boom. Gonna marry these colors together. Get a nice base coat. Two drops of water just to thin it out so it flows a lot better through the airbrush. down with our flesh tone. This is the second pass through. Right here, from just the, uh, the base coat to the uh, the mid tone. Alright, so now I'm gonna add a little bit of dolphin gray to it, just to brighten it up a little bit for my highlights, and still make it look like he's dead. You know, some like rotten flesh. Some more flow improver, thinning it out real good. Marry these colors together.
spot where I think the light would hit. Just hit it a little bit more. Just like a little, little. And I'm gonna get his, his legs too, just a little bit. Oh. Looking pretty nasty right there. Some of that deep purple, right by itself. Some straight up purple to it. And I'm gonna hit these tentacles. They're like they're like tentacle hands. Like at the end of the tentacles, they have hands to them. So I'm gonna hit those with some purple. like I'm like really blasting it through but I, I have my uh, PSI really low so it just kind of pushes it out just a little bit it's mostly air oh, look at that oh, it's looking pretty sharp and I don't mind if I get a little bit of overspray on my on my flesh because it's gonna add to the uh, the bruising effect like I'm actually gonna hit these little like sores that he has and just hitting him up with a little bit of purple. He has like this little mouth on the side of him. I hit that with a little bit of purple too. And these tentacles, they, they don't have like suction cups, they're like teeth. So I was pretty impressed by that. miniature that I'm working on but I did do it for another abomination the same exact way and I also did a wash to this one right here it's just straight brown wash and I'm just right now I'm going back in and I'm using a glaze effect I'm using straight uh, medium flesh and just glazing it in which is pretty much you water it right down kind of like a wash but you just have more control over it don't let it go into the crevices. You can see right here, boom, look at that. Just cover that up and now it looks like it's bruised. Like, you know, this guy just turned into this nasty abomination. I like these crude uh, minis right here. Definitely interesting. I like it. Definitely had a lot of fun doing these minis. I guess I'm just barely glazing it in. Boom. Making it look good. Look at that. Boom. Looking pretty good. There she is right there. 
there. Here's a comparison with the other one that I, that I did right here. Oh. Those look pretty dope. Alright. So now, those little teeth. I'm gonna go and use my uh, the antique orange. teeth a little bit. Look at that. Oh. The camera's gonna change it. Boom, look at that. That's what it actually looks like. Oh. Looking pretty nasty right there. Just take a little bit of time, just paint by numbers. That's what I'm talking about, right there. Look at that, it's better than gray. So, if you have any comments, put them down in the doobly-doo down below, and I'll write back to you. So, until next time, keep crafting. <laughs>